Hey everybody, this is Puneet and welcome back to Design Weekly. Today we will be achieving something different in Adobe XD. Uh, this is a, a little design I made. Um, if I try and scroll uh, with my mouse, uh, this becomes smaller. Um, now this is something uh, that is not e easy to achieve in Adobe XD since uh, Adobe XD doesn't have a scroll uh, trigger uh, for animating stuff uh, so we just have to find another way to make this uh, you know um, come true so uh, let's just quickly open Adobe XD and I'll show you this project this is a quick little project that I've created so what we're gonna do is uh, this is the state at which it, it, it opens and this is the state at which it closes um, in the description below, I will be giving the uh, final XD file so you can just download and start working. But right now we are gonna, uh, we're gonna do it ourselves. So this is a, an array of cards that we've created and um, these cards uh, display information about me. This is me, by the way. Um, and on this screen, the, the navigation becomes smaller so it doesn't come in your way and it's uh, easy to scroll. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a quick uh, dummy box. Um, I'm calling it a dummy box because it's just a box which will help us make the scroll animation come true uh, without, uh, you know, uh, us having a feature in Adobe XD. So what we're going to do is let's just quickly make a rectangle here. Okay. Above all the content. Uh, you can either put it edge to edge. I'm not going to do it edge to edge. I'm just going to put it like this. And without editing this in any way, I'm uh, make sure that this rectangle is on the top. Uh, here in your uh, left hand side. Um, in your uh, layers panel, you will see that this is at the top. So what I'm going to do is quickly edit this uh, rectangle and just uh, make this zero opacity. Let me just center this out. Uh, make this zero uh, opacity. And now what I'm going to do is just say Command C or Control C for Windows. And I am going to say Command V and Control V for Windows uh, on this artboard. As you can see, this re uh, transparent rectangle has been copied. Now what we're going to do is um, we're going to just drag this transparent rectangle uh, up so that it doesn't come in our way um, and it, does, it doesn't obstruct uh, any, any sort of clicks or uh, any sort of drags here. So that is all you had to do. That is the workaround. Uh, now what we're going to do is just select this rectangle. Now since it's at the top, you, you don't have to worry about selecting it from the layers panel. So what I'm going to do is now click on prototype here and I'm going to click on this arrow, little arrow here and I'm going to drag this arrow to the second artboard. The trigger is I've already set it to dra drag otherwise it will be set to tap by default. So what I'm going to do is just going to select drag uh, say auto animate uh, in this case destination is the second artboard and easing I'm gonna say hmm, something uh, something uh, a little easy so I'm just gonna say ease in out so that's gonna make make sure that it's a sort of smooth uh, now that everything is set we will save our document and what we're gonna do is just gonna uh, select this first and I'm going to start the preview and let's see what happens if we scroll. Now, uh, this won't work if you're trying to scroll with your scroll wheel or with your trackpad. This will only work if you're dragging the screen to scroll, like in a normal mobile interface. So this shall work uh, on your mobile, but it uh, won't completely work if you're trying to use uh, your um, a trackpad or a mouse scroller. So I'm just going to uh, drag the screen up and we will see the magic happen. See how this navigation becomes small. I'm just doing it slowly so that you can see the change. And voila. Now it has a little shadow as well here. And uh, when we drag the screen, it scrolls normally. 
So that was today's tutorial. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. You can edit your own stuff and you can make uh, scrolling animations happen in uh, Adobe XD for sure. Uh, I hope Adobe XD introduces more uh, gesture based uh, uh, animations uh, in the next updates. But until then, what I'm going to do is uh, keep doing these series, keep doing this uh, design series. I hope you like this video. Uh, just leave your like and comments in, uh, down below. And also, subscribe to my channel, man. It goes a long way. If you subscribe to my channel, I will keep on making this uh, series. I will keep on making beautiful designs. I hope you have a great day. Keep watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.